Hey everyone, Bad Sweaty here, and I just wanted to make a quick video explaining the changes that were made to Vote to Kick in the minor update a few days ago. Without any delay, let us begin. So, how Vote to Kick used to work is a player would start a vote on another player that they felt should be kicked. If the majority of the team voted yes, that player would be kicked immediately. Now, the player being vote kicked can no longer see the voting on their screen, whereas the other players on the team still can. If they are deemed AFK by their team and voted out, they will no longer be kicked immediately following the end of the vote, but instead be required to complete a quick time event at the beginning of the next round. Please note that if this is done in the final round, nothing will happen because there is no next round. On the next loadout screen, a message will pop up in the top right corner of the screen telling you that you have been deemed AFK by your team and will be checked for inactivity. The quick time event consists of a sequence of four buttons that you must press within five seconds to remain in the match. The buttons are randomized every time, so there's nothing to expect there, and there is no penalty for pressing the wrong buttons. If you succeed, a message will pop up in the top left corner of your team's screens, informing them that you have proven yourself as active and will not be kicked. If you fail, a different message will pop up informing your team that your AFK status has been confirmed and that you will be removed from the match. This is a great change, as it solves the major problem of vote to kick being abused to kick innocent players, but it also makes it less effective at removing AFK players, as those who sit in front of their screen, as some of them do for unknown reasons, can simply complete the quick time event and continue being AFK afterwards, because each player can only initiate one vote each now. Personally, I think the devs made the right move here. Vote to kick being abused was becoming a larger problem than the AFK players themselves, so nipping that problem in the bud was the right choice here. But let me know what you think about these changes in the comments below. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Or are you somewhere in between? Well, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.